have a problem, work until the work is done. If you have a misunderstanding, settle it. If they laugh at you, keep smiling. If they talk about you, keep believing. If they hate you, keep loving. And if they knock you down, embody the Becker spirit and know that there's nothing that you can't accomplish if you just believe. Becker College was built according to the vision of our nation's founders, including John Hancock and Samuel Adams, who signed its first charter. Becker College traces its origin to Ebenezer Crafts and Jacob Davis, officers in George Washington's army, who came home from the Revolutionary War to found Leicester Academy. They created an institution to impart strong values to their children and prepare the next generation of Americans to become successful citizens of a brave new country just beginning to take its place in the world. They were fervent patriots, highly dedicated to uh, this, this new republic that was still being formed at the time that the academy opened. In 1887, just about a century after the founding of Leicester Academy, educator E.C.A. Becker established the business college that bore his name. His mission, to prepare young men and women to pursue their dreams in a newly mechanized society. Becker wanted to turn out graduates from his college who not only were concerned about individual success, but could also contribute to what was happening in America, to uh, the fact that the country was going on to become the greatest industrial nation in the world. One institution founded during the great act of creating a nation, another established in a time of rapid technological change, innovation, and entrepreneurship, forces that still inspire growth and change at Becker College in the 21st century. They came together in 1977. The merger happened because administrators and tr the trustees of both schools felt that by joining forces, they would end up with one single stronger college. In 2011, in partnership with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Becker founded Mass Digi, a statewide center for innovation and growth in the video game and mobile apps industries. In 2012, Becker opened the $9 million George F. and Sybil H. Fuller Campus Center in Leicester. Also in 2012, Becker achieved national recognition as one of the Princeton Review's top 377 colleges in the nation. In 2013, Becker expanded its veterinary sciences program to found the school of animal studies. There's no question that the, the pace uh, here at Becker has picked up over the last three years since President Johnson has been here. Uh, I think the students feel it, the faculty feel it, uh, the administrators feel it. Uh, we all know that there's something exciting happening here. Our enrollment has increased, the numbers of programs that we're developing have increased. Uh, we've got our first endowed chair uh, in veterinary science. The programs that are going to be offered to the students are going to be more enhanced, more diverse and create greater opportunities for them in the job market or in professional fields. Essentially, we're educating young people for jobs that do not yet exist. If you look at the top 10 jobs that exist today, uh, if you were to rewind in history about seven or eight years ago, most of them did not exist. You know, social media manager? I mean, what was that seven years ago? Think about it. As we are changing our curriculum and bringing in new technology, this will definitely prepare our students for the future that lies ahead. Becker is an important, in fact, possibly the most important academic player in a very fast-moving, dynamic, growing landscape. Among the most important initiatives at Becker today, its dedicated mission to produce graduates who are global citizens, prepared to compete in an increasingly internationalized society. Students graduating from college today will have more than 15 jobs over the course of their careers. And their playground is the entire world. So it is naive of us to think for a second that we should educate young people and not prepare them for a global society. Becker College graduates have had a profound impact on the world at large, dating back to Eli Whitney, inventor of the cotton gin in 1793. Among Becker's most noted alumni are W.T.G. Morton, a pioneer of general anesthesia and surgery, and Elliot Joslin, the first doctor in the nation to specialize in treating diabetes. In more modern times, Becker graduates include Colleen Barrett, President Emeritus of Southwest Airlines, and Lynn Gingell, who turned personal tragedy into a mission of mercy when he lost his daughter Brittany in the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. Be Like Brit, the foundation he established in her memory, built a 19,000 square foot orphanage to help the children of Haiti.
And as part of that building, the Becker College Global Citizenry came down for two years in a row and helped build and paint and lug concrete to help Brit's dream come true, which was to, to help the children of Haiti. A strong foundation dating centuries into the past, a proud philosophy that embraces the future. Building for the future is a Becker tradition. Think about the founding fathers of this country. They started out here in New England, and then they cut a trail all the way to the West Coast. And they didn't have all of the tools that we had, so they had to be uh, creative. They had to be entrepreneurial. Well, that is the Becker spirit. With that spirit, Becker graduates embrace the future. I've become a, a much more confident leader here at Becker College, and now I'm ready to take on the world. Take an S and stay the course. Take a T and trust in that inner voice. Take a U and utilize your time wisely. Take a V and value your victory. Take a W and walk in the light. Take an X and X-ray your, your lifestyle. Take a Y and yearn for the truth. And take a Z. Take a Z and fight for Becker Blue.